guys, what's up? It's Lena. And today's process video is from this past summer of when uh, we all went to uh, the Brooklyn Spring Fair. And that's in a nearby town um, close to us here. So I'm using two 4x6 pictures, but I'm going to be trimming them down. I just think that two 4x6 pictures in my mind is just way too much and I don't have enough room <laughs> on a 12x12 12 12 layout. But um, I decided that I'm going to use both, but I am trimming down one of the pictures, the one with me and my daughter down significantly. Um, and this is because, for one thing, there's a little girl in the picture uh, sitting in front of us, and I don't want her to be in our pictures. And secondly, um, I don't need all of it. So the most important part is there is uh, me and her in uh, one of the rides. So I decided to, not really challenge myself, but I decided to use up scraps. So I'm using one full sheet of paper. And you'll see I'm going to be using the American Crafts Dear Lizzie Serendipity Bright Blueberry. Bright Blueberry? Yeah. Um, paper. But before I do that, I'm matting my pictures just so that it looks cohesive, the two pictures together, on some white cardstock. And this will just make it look like a collage rather than just two pictures together. So that's what I do. And that's the paper I'm going to use. So that's the only full sheet of 12 by 12 that I use. Um, if you can see that text paper there, I'm going to pull it in. Well, those are the scraps I'm going to use. So that green, those are actually two pieces of recollection paper. So the green and the yellow. And then the other one is from Create Paper Kiss Kiss. So I'm just going to mat the pictures with um, that green and then I'll do some more layering with the um, yellow damask pattern and also the crepe paper kiss kiss. It's called Falling For You and it's the one with the text on it and I love that paper. I love anything with text on it. I say that every single time I talk or I use, actually I think I use a piece of text paper in all of my layouts. So there's always one that I love <laughs> in every collection I use. So I just decided to trim down the paper. And because it wasn't large enough, um, I'm going to fake it and uh, cut it in half and then just put it on the sides because no one's going to see the back side of it. And that's that. So I'm just gluing to my little heart's content. And so I decided I'm going to put the picture on the top um, part of the page. But it's, I don't know, I always have trouble with my placement of photos and layering. I always feel like I put them in the same place and I, I guess it's just because that's where I'm comfortable with it. But because this was a larger mat, it kind of looks like it's more in the middle rather than to one side, even though it is. You'll see. <laughs> So I'm still gluing down. Now the die cuts, I decided to go through my stash and use something I hadn't used before. And I found die cuts that corresponded, not corresponded, but they matched with the paper collection. So I'm using, oh, there it is. There's one. So Simple Stories, the Homespun Collection. And so I've had that in my stash for a little while and I never realized how pretty it was. And I really, really like it. It's kind of like a homey kind of country kind of feel to it. And I end up using, I do, actually don't end up using that uh, collection there of stickers that's on the right there. But I'm going out and I'm pulling out some of my thickers because I want to put down my title. So I end up using a combination of three alphas. So I use those thickers there. And those ones are called Rockabye and they're a white foam. But I also end up pulling out a yellow, um, it's like vinyl kind of thicker and it's called um, rain boots fittingly enough because they kind of they're kind of vinyl-y and, and slick and so I didn't have enough letters to to spell out the word spring so I decided to get creative and cut up some letters because God knows when I'm gonna use the rest of those for another title so it ended up working out pretty good so I think I was missing um, an N and an R 
I think. So I think I used an upside down U for the N. And the R, I'm pretty sure I cut up an H. You'll see what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry I'm not in frame. It's, I had to stick my head close to it to get it, get it done properly. So because these stickers were not sticky enough for my liking, um, I just stuck them down with some Mono Tombow, which I have in my fine line bottle. And I love the fact that it comes out so in such a thin stream. It just it doesn't goop everywhere. So then this is the Rockabye font, and this is the white foam, and I'm just going to write fair. Like so. Now I'm going to look for other letters as well. And I ended up picking out some simple stories, do-it-yourself letters. So I wasn't sure what color I was going to go with, but I ended up going with the pink. And because I wanted to pull out some of the pink in the pictures, which is what my daughter is wearing, um, I think there's, I don't know, there's other pieces too, but I was looking for some pink pieces before I actually stuck down the letters. So I ended up going through the die cuts and picking out the pink ones. Well, some of the pink ones. So that flower, that tag at the top left has the uh, reinforcement um, sticker that's in pink. The top right has that notes sheet and it has like a faux piece of uh, pink striped washi. So I thought that was good to help incorporate my pink. So I'm just going to spell out Brooklyn here. And I end up going back with those letters as well, with my fine line and gluing everything down because just nothing was sticking properly. And because it was over the layered um, matting as well, it was just doubly as, as difficult for it to stick down. So that's that. I love how I'm getting to get you guys to watch me glue stuff down. That's the most boring part of scrapbooking <laughs> is foam sticker or watching people glue down stickers, and, well, letter stickers, I should say. <laughs> it's the worst part. Or peel off the backing of, like, foam adhesive. Ugh, irks me. <laughs> I don't want to see it, so I don't want to show you guys either because that's the boring part. So I'm going through these stick, these die cuts here, and I'm going to pick out some that I like. And there are really, really, some really cute ones that um, I really wanted to use, but they didn't make the cut. Um, mainly because they had nothing to do with the layout, or they just, there was a lot of red in this collection as well, and I just, I didn't use, um, there, there wasn't any red to be used. Uh, just because there wasn't any red in the pictures, or... It just didn't go. So I just picked up the pink, and that's the way I incorporated the pink. And then the other colors, like the greens and the yellows, of course, because I added the alphas in the yellow and those two tickets that are popped up. The teal in this collection is really pretty, too. So I'm just going around, shopping around some pieces, finding out where I'm going to put them. And this came this came out pretty pretty easily. I think this layout all together took me, I think, about 40 minutes. That's playing around with all those stickers and making my word. And yeah, so it came together fairly quickly. Quickly for me, anyways, because my layouts can take up to at least an hour to do. Even simple ones, there are days where things do not just go right for me. I think that's, I think that's with everybody, though. So I ended up sticking that tag, the, the other half of that doily there in that corner and I thought I just finished it off nicely. And then those little three um, die cuts don't make the cut. So those end up going back into the baggie and I want to use that love die cut, that love um, tag. They just don't make it to the cut. They just don't make the cut. <laughs> so. Simple stories, I had no idea, but they included a little packet of hearts in that collection. And that just makes me love simple stories all so much more. Um, once I find something that I like or a brand that I'm impressed with, I'm pretty loyal. Um, and so, 
yeah, they have my money. <laughs> I will continue to buy from them. I'm just really impressed with that little bit of extra. So now I'm just using some dilution spray in the white linen and calling it done. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video coming soon. Um, thanks to all my new subscribers for subscribing and thumbs up and please like my video. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye. Thank you.